Okay, um, let's get into this right quick. This isn't going to be long. Um, I'm just going to show you how to enable, turn on multiple processors on your computer. Um, you know, to speed it up a little bit, um, depending on how many processors you're running. Um, if you're running one processor, you got a single. If you're running two processors, you got a dual. If you're running three processors, you got a tri. You're running four processors, you got a quad. And if you're running eight processors, you think it's a, I think it's an octa core or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, I'm going to show you how to turn on your processors, but by default, I don't know why, but by default, you're only running one processor. I don't know why Windows got it set up like that for you only run one processor, um, but I'm going to show you how to turn multiple processors on depending on how many you got. All right, so let's go and get into this. Um, we're going to the start menu. We're going to system configuration. Alright, then we're going to the tabs. We got general tab, boot tab, service tab, startup tab, tools tab. We're going to the boot tab. Okay, then we're going to advanced options. And here we go. No more processors right here. See, by default, you're running one. So enable it. Your arrow to see how many you got. I got a dual, I got two processors, so I'm running a dual. Okay, click OK. Now, apply. Now, you're going to have to restart your computer also. So, in order to you click OK, restart or exit without restart. You can restart to enable it, but I'm going to exit without restart. But you can go and restart to enable. Whenever you restart your computer, it'll kick in then. All right, that's what's up.